Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pros versus the AirPod Pros. And I'll be honest, it's not even close. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dave. If you're someone that's looking for a budget pair of true wireless earbuds, I'll let you know if the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pros are right for you. So the AirPods Pro come in at $249. They are on sale at the moment. And yes, I've always believed this since the AirPods Pro came out, they are overpriced. But they're one of the most convenient pair of true wireless earbuds on the market. And yes, they get the job done. The Liberty Air 2 Pros come in at $130. I got mine for about $100. So they're priced pretty fairly. So let's get into some physical differences and some features. So at first glance, the AirPods Pro feels solid. Of course, the signature design of the AirPods is the stem, but this time, this stem has what's called a force sensor, where you can force press to change your song, play pause, skip tracks, activate transparency mode, or activate the active noise canceling mode. Unfortunately, there's no volume controls for the AirPods Pro, but for me, that's never been a make or break deal. You can use each AirPod Pro Bud individually. Unfortunately, there's no app to control any equalizer settings or any personal settings you would want to toggle. The Liberty Air 2 Pros fill a lot, a little bit more plasticky. They do come with touch controls, so they have a touch sensor. I'm not a big fan on the presses or the or the taps, I'd say, for the touch sensor, where you have to touch and hold for two seconds to navigate through the active noise canceling, the transparency mode, and the normal mode. The, whenever I'm touching the buds, there's always like a slight delay um, in terms of just my track skipping, or my play and pause, or my activating the noise canceling, where the AirPods Pro, once I press the stem on the, AirPod, on the AirPods Pro, it all feels instantaneous. You can use the Liberty Air 2 Pros individually, so you can have one in the case while using another. And out of the box, these do not come with volume controls on the earbuds. So when the AirPods Pro first came out, I saw these as a super premium pair of true wireless earbuds costing $250. But as time has gone, people have kind of redefined uh, the use case for the AirPods Pro, using them for workouts, office use, watching movies, especially with the new spatial audio feature, um, whether you're taking online classes, Zoom calls. AirPods Pro have become your everyday tried and true pair of true wireless earbuds. You can do all that with the Liberty Air 2 Pros, but there are some caveats. Especially when I was open up the, opening up the quick start guide, the sound core states that you do not put the earbuds back in the case while they're wet. So you do have to watch out um, if you're someone that's going to be using the Liberty Air 2 Pros for workouts and you know you are or someone that sweats a lot. Keep an eye out for that. But besides that, I would label these as an all-around pair of true wireless earbuds as well. And this leads me to fit and comfort. So AirPods are known as one of the most comfortable true wireless earbuds on the market. They come with three sizes of silicone ear tips. If the three sizes of the silicone ear tips don't work for you, I always encourage people to check out SpinFit, check out their website. They do make third-party ear tips for all types of earbuds if you don't like the ear tips that come with the AirPods Pro. The AirPods Pro do give you a pretty solid seal with their ear tips, but I've always noticed that they do slide out when you do move your jaw if you're, if you're going to be talking. For me personally, I felt that I can use the AirPods for about 45 minutes to about an hour before I do start to feel a little bit of ear fatigue, but I'm not one of the people that Apple makes the AirPods Pro for where it's just like a super perfect fit. I know people that can wear these things forever. So the Liberty Air 2 Pro come with a total of nine pairs of ear tips. Yes, nine tips. So you will be able to find the right pair of ear tip that gives you the best seal. So these don't go too deep into your ears. They sit right outside the canal of your ear. But one thing I do wish that probably would have helped a little bit more with the seal is if the nozzle on the earbud was just slightly longer, maybe a millimeter a mill, millimeter or two longer, um, that would have been a little bit better for me. But for the most part, the seal is just fine and I have yet to experience any real ear fatigue when it comes to the Liberty Air 2 Pros, but they fit well, but 
they kind of drop the ball on the comfort. This little, this bulb area, this, uh, that kind of sits around the outside of your ear, that bulb area, which I'm assuming houses the electronics of the true, of the, of the true wireless earbuds. It's just way too big compared to the AirPods Pro. Um, I can sometimes feel a lot of discomfort. I'm one of the, I'm, I'm a type of person that has an oddly shaped ear. So I can kind of feel the ear, but just pressing against this part of my ear right here. So it always felt good to wear the right earbud, uh, but not so much the left earbud for me. Uh, if you're someone that has this type of shaped ear, I would say the Liberty Air 2 Pros are a no-go for you. Definitely a no-go. But I think for most people, it'll be just fine. So for the AirPods Pro, you're getting four and a half hours of battery life per earbud or per charge and you're also getting a total of 24 hours with the charging case. With the Liberty Air 2 Pros, you're getting a grand total of seven hours with each, with each earbud or with each charge and 26 hours total with the case. Connectivity. So the Liberty Air 2 Pros do, have, do come with Bluetooth 5.0. The AirPods Pro, on the other hand, do have Apple's designated H1 chip, which does allow for faster connections, um, greater distance between your device and the earbuds, better battery, low la lower latency, and faster switching between devices. One key feature I did forget to mention is that we all know the AirPods kind of switch seamlessly between the Apple devices but the Liberty Air 2 Pros do not have multi-point connectivity. So if you're someone that usually hot swaps between a tablet, a computer, and a phone, you will only be able to connect the Liberty Air 2 Pros to one device, and that's really unfortunate. Sound quality. There's no excuse for true wireless earbuds to sound bad. The AirPods Pro do favor vocals and mids a little bit more than the bass and the treble, but for me personally, the bass of the, on the AirPods Pro is just right uh, the bass goes deep enough and the highs are not too harsh, but I do wish there were, a, it was, it sounded a little bit more dynamic, um, just for my personal preferences. The sound quality on the AirPods Pro won't disappoint, but they are not the best sounding true wireless earbuds. The Liberty Air 2 Pros, I'm going to be completely honest, they sound awesome. Awesome. They sound, they sound awesome. These sounded amazing, they sounded dynamic, great bass, great clarity in the highs, good vocals, great mids. At this price point, I would say these are the best sounding true wireless earbuds that you can get for that $100 to $150 range. And I would also say they do rival some of the higher tier true wireless um, earbuds in terms of their sound quality. Now, out of the box, they do come with what's called Soundcore Signature Sound, which is a bit bass heavy. You can go into the app if you want more bass. For me, the Soundcore Signature Sound was just enough bass. As great as the sound, unfortunately, if you do turn up the bass way too much, the bass just bleeds all over the, all over the rest of your um, sound stage, all over the vocals, um, and it's, it's just a mess. Personally, the equalizer setting that I did enjoy the most was the acoustic sound signature. And when I changed it to acoustic, they were they sounded so dynamic. It's like the bass was there and the clarity of the earbuds was there even more. So I would recommend anybody that's using these as good as this, um, the sound core signature sound does sound, I'd also consider using these in their acoustic equalizer setting. I did try out the Hear ID equalizer setting and those sounded great as well, but I really like the acoustic. So active noise canceling and transparency mode. So for the AirPods Pro, I would say the AirPods Pro are class leading when it comes to their transparency mode and second in class when it comes to active noise canceling. I give the king of true, the true wireless earbuds king of active noise canceling is the Bose QuietComfort earbuds. And then I'd say the AirPods Pro, the AirPods Pros, Noise canceling is amazing. Their transparency mode is amazing as well. But for as good as the Liberty Air 2 Pro sounded, unfortunately, I have to say active noise canceling and their transparency mode is where the ball was dropped. Like these were such a letdown when it came to active noise canceling. They were such a letdown when it came to their transparency mode. And as much as I, I toggled through the features, I, for some reason, it felt like the transparency mode was just non-existent, the active noise canceling mode was non-existent, 
and it didn't really cancel out any noise. And when I would try to, I, I think, oh, this has six mics, uh, the transparency mode should be awesome. I'm sorry, I have to say, it was a huge letdown. Of course, these do sound amazing, but if you're expecting great quality active noise canceling, a high-end transparency mode from the Liberty Air 2 Pros, I would definitely look elsewhere or just go for the AirPods Pro. So I'm outside and this is the audio from my lapel mic. And we're going to be comparing the audio from my lapel mic to the AirPods Pro and the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pros. Let me know what you think. Okay, so this is an audio sample of the AirPods Pro. You just heard my lapel mic. This is the AirPods Pro. Let me know what you think about the microphone quality for the AirPods Pro. Now, this is an audio sample from the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pros. Let me know how these sound compared to the AirPods Pro in the comments section. So I would say the Liberty Air 2 Pros do undercut the market of true wireless earbuds when it comes to sound quality. In terms of pro features, no, when it comes to their noise canceling and transparency mode. And these are two prime modes that people need, especially in this working from home environment. And if you're someone that goes to the gym and needs to block out the sound around you to focus. So the active noise canceling and the transparency mode is not why I would buy these. Personally, it's not even close. I would go with the AirPods Pro, stick to the tried and true, they work and if i'm hearing correctly a new airpods pro should be dropping pretty soon as well but at the end of the day the liberty air 2 pro i would say they're a solid pair of true wireless earbuds they're a match for all the other true wireless earbuds when it comes to sound quality but after that not so much but in no way do they beat out the airpods pro but hey these are my thoughts on the airpods pro and the liberty air 2 pros but i want to know what you think questions in the comments section let me know what you think about these if you're considering a pair. I'll have links in the description. My name is Dave, over and out.